Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are making crab stuffed salmon today. I am so excited to share it with you. Look, this is what we are making. Take a look at this gorgeous crab stuffed salmon. So we're just gonna get into it. If you have not subscribed, it's time to subscribe. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, and let's do this. I've got about two pounds of salmon here. I have the skin on because I think it's easier to stuff the salmon that way. I, can't, I think it just kind of like holds all the stuffing in. So I'm gonna make this into, let's see. I'm gonna make this into about three servings. Even though I have four people in my family, but I will tell you right now, not everybody likes salmon up in here. Okay, so look, beautiful, right? Just like that. Now, I've got three servings, and make sure when you get it from your seafood counter, make sure that you're getting it nice and thick so we can cut a slit in here and stuff it. Don't go all the way through. You want it to be like a pocket, see? Okay, so I'm gonna do that with all of them. Let's see, set that aside. Not the safest way to do it, but <laughs> here I am doing it this way anyway. This one's a little bit thinner, so let me see. I'm gonna make an executive decision here. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna stuff it the same way. Boom, works for me. So it's, we can stuff it in real good right there. Some green onion right here. Now, this is a pretty big green onion, so I'm just gonna use one. I'm not gonna obviously use this piece right here, this piece, because this looks kind of cruddy, but just give it a little chop like that. That's all you gotta do. And I'm gonna use the whole green onion, not just the white, but I'm gonna use the green as well, because I think it looks really pretty in the dish to have some green in that stuffing. And I'm cutting down the middle, because I think it's a little bit big for stuffing, those rounds. That was a really big green onion. They're not normally that big. I'm just chopping it a little bit more. The green onion's kinda nice, because it's not like an overwhelming onion taste, but it's got that bite that you're gonna need to make this really delicious. Next is gonna be the parsley. Just shave it off. This is Italian flat leaf parsley. You don't have to worry about all the stems. I pick some of them out, like that's a big chunk. We don't need that. Um, and then I just, if you get some stems in there, it's totally fine because that's the joy of Italian flat leaf parsley is that it really doesn't matter if you get the stems in there. It's not bitter, like as if you use the curly parsley. You could also use dried parsley. That would be fine. Let's get our garlic. Smash it. So that was only two. Those were two pretty big cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna mince it really small here. Just when you think you're done, you're not. Go some more. Because nobody wants a huge hunk of garlic. I'm not the best at cutting. <laughs> but I get the job done. How about that? Philadelphia cream cheese. It doesn't have to be Philadelphia, but it does have to be about eight ounces, which is what this is. And I left it out for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes on the counter, because I want it to be nice and softened, which is gonna make this process way easier. Just like that. You're gonna need a lemon. Take the little sticker off. I'm known for leaving stickers on, on TikTok. <laughs> I'm gonna add the juice of this lemon, and I'm gonna also zest it. That's okay. It's all going to the party, it's okay. There you go, the lemon goes like that. I learned that through TikTok. Boom, and then another. Actually, you guys are gonna laugh at me because I really should have dusted this first, but it's fine. Listen, you just go with the flow up in here. If you really wanted to do it the right way, you would have zested it first. <laughs> but I did not, and that's okay. It still works. You don't want to get that white part because that's bitter. Boom. You don't have to get the entire lemon. Just, just to give it a little bit of a zing and a fresher taste is what we're looking for. Now everybody goes to the party. Get it all in. We got the parsley, the green onions, and the garlic to the party. As for the lump crab meat, I'm using bumblebee lump crab meat. This is eight ounces. I'm gonna use two cans of this. Now you can also get this in a container. You can get it um, the fresher variety if you'd like, but I'm gonna use this because this is more cost effective and I think it's still really good. 
Let me show you. Got your lump crab meat here. You wanna drain this out a little bit. You're not gonna drain it like crazy, but drain it a little bit. So when you open up the can, it looks like this. It's got this little film, so make sure you take that out. Take that out. Now I'm gonna go drain this. Add it right in. Perfect. Now look, see? There's a little, so be careful. Goes in, this lump crab meat goes in. You can use any cheese you want. I love Pecorino Romano by Logatelli. I think it's the best. You can use Parmesan cheese, you can use Monterey Jack cheese, you could use whatever cheese you want. This is really potent stuff, so I'm gonna do about, let's see, one, two, two, three tablespoons, ooh, four. I'm gonna use Tony's Creole and a half a packet of Goya Sasson. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but you can read it. That's the one I use. You see, it's just like that. I'm just gonna pour about half in, a little more. And then, there's my Tony's. Now Tony's makes you sneeze, so be careful. I'm gonna do a tablespoon, just like that. Boom. You're gonna need some Ritz crackers. This is just a sleeve of Ritz. Oh. There we go. Three, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Just like that. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Okay? I'll decide if I need any more. It's that simple. I think I need more. I just made the executive decision. Five more. That's it. Done. Now we're gonna mix it. I almost forgot. You need some pepper in there. Now you're just gonna mix it all together. See, when you soften the sour, the, not sour cream, the cream cheese, it makes it so much easier. But you don't want, you gotta be a little bit careful because you don't want to break up the lump crab so much. So you're just gonna kind of gently fold it all in like this because you want the big chunks of crab in there. This looks so good, Eddie. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Done. That didn't take me long at all. Salmon it back. I'm going to season with a little bit of Tony's. Now remember, this stuff is salty, so we don't need salt as well. We just need a little bit of Tony's. And remember, the stuffing's also gonna have seasoning in it. And now we're going to stuff <laughs> the salmon. So let's see how we do. And just shove it on in, pack it in. Don't be afraid. If you have extra, guess what you're gonna do? If you have extra, you're gonna make a dip. Just stick it in the oven at 350. And watch yourself have an amazing dip and then put some pita chips out or some um, mountain bread in chunks. Look, perfect. Stuff it in, just like that. Take a look. See, gorgeous. Look at this, is this not gorgeous? Now this one was a little bit thinner, so. but guess what? Still works. I'm gonna actually have some left. I'm gonna put it in the oven and make a dip. So you're getting a two for one dilio here. Now, if you had a fourth piece of salmon, this would be perfect. So the recipe I just made is gonna give you four pieces. Any baking dish will do, but I'm using a cookie sheet and I covered it in foil and just for extra, to make sure it doesn't stick, I'm putting a little pan at the bottom. Come on, that's gorgeous. Right here, one, two, three. Now we're gonna do something else with this too. We're gonna to put a little bit of butter on top to make it even extra delicioso. Kerrygold butter, and I'm gonna melt this a half a stick in the microwave, and then I'm pouring it over. I melted my butter, it's about a half a stick, and I'm just gonna pour some over to really make this moist and delicious and just out of this world. And then we're gonna put a little bit of pepper on top. I'm out of pepper, lovely. Guess what, my friends? Regular table pepper works too. <laughs> it's fine. Yes, now we're gonna bake it. We're gonna bake this at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. We're gonna watch it. Make sure we don't overcook it. And it goes. I'm so excited. And now for the crab dip. It's going in. 350. 15 minutes. It is done. Let's look at the masterpiece. Looky, looky. Oh, oh my. Mm, now I'm going to try. 
I'm not gonna lie, I took a little taste and I already know it's the best meal ever. Look at this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Make it, make it and comment back how you like it. And what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Mm.